All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna try to keep this to 10 minutes. Here we go. So first off, please make sure you watch this video. Um, I will be showing this video in class too to the kids as well, along with the other video in this email, which is the school safety video. Uh, it's really important that we all watch them. And I realize for the distance kids, um, you know, they're gonna get a lot of information here that's not applicable, but still important to know so that we're on the same page, especially since in the fall, we'll probably still have some of these protocols when everybody comes back. So welcome. The first thing I wanna say is thank you um, to whoever nominated me for the Teacher of the Month for KKIQ. I was quite surprised when I got into my car two weeks ago and started driving to school and I heard my name as I was sipping my coffee. It was one of those, did I hear that moment? Am I, am I having a dream? So thank you very much, I really appreciate that. And uh, I got a gift certificate to the Buckhorn Grill, which we'll be traveling to over spring break and getting our grub on. So thank you so much, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. All right, I'm gonna start with the distance learners first here. And so distance learners, there are gonna be 11 of you. It's gonna be a nice small group. Um, I will say right now the expectation is going to be that you need to have your camera on the entire time. So let's make sure those cameras are working because uh, if they're not come Monday, then I'll be just sending a quick email to your parents like, hey, you know, Sally's gotta keep her camera on the whole time. But the 11 of you, cameras will be on the whole time. We're going to do a good amount of collaborative work. We're going to be working in breakout rooms and whatnot, and we want to have those cameras on. So Zoom meeting will be 12.05 to 2.50. That's in the afternoon. That's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, the Zoom meeting for everyone will be 8.30 to 9, and you'll do your independent work after that. The breaks for distance learning, you're going to get the same 20 minutes of break that the in-person people get. You're actually going to have the same schedule just later in the day. You get a five minute break from 12.55 to one and a 15 minute break from 12.45 to, I'm sorry, 1.45 to two. I will usually stay on at those times and help answer questions and those kind of things. But what's nice with 11 kids is we're, I'm gonna be able to give everybody a good amount of one-on-one -on -one attention there. Um, independent work will still be in Schoology just like it has been before. The 11 of you will have your own science now. Your science will be nine to 9.25 via Google Meets on Thursday and cameras on. So your science will be 9 to 9.25 via Google Meets on Thursday. That's a little change from what we've been doing, right? We've been doing it in the afternoon, that will change. You will still need to do the material pickup. So you're at three more pickups. So that's 4.12, which is the Monday after spring break, 5.3 and 5.24. Um, same thing, you'll be picking up the middle envelope from up front of the school. You'll be dropping off your work and that'll be that. So distance learning, really not a lot of changes, right? We're just going in the afternoon. We are expecting cameras on. Science is Thursday, 9 to 9.25. We still have to do the material pickup, all right? I don't think I have anything else for distance right now, but please don't stop watching that because I do have an all learner slide and then I'll excuse the distance people if they want. Uh, In-person learners. So the gates open at 8.25. What I mean by that is we're gonna have yard duties or they're called campus supervisors at every gate and they're gonna open the gates at 825 and you're going to walk to class. You must wear your mask obviously the entire time. I'll talk more about masks in a couple minutes. If you don't have a mask, you'll be given a mask. Um, they will be stopping randomly, I think every 10 to 15 kid to take their temperature check. And it'll be basically a visual check, you're looking okay and they'll let you pass, pass by. They will be doing some temperature checks but it will be random. Um, and that is the gates open at 825. So I'm room 36, if you haven't been here before, the school is set up where basically kindergarten is over here by itself and then first grade is by the office, second grade, third grade, and fourth grade, fifth grade are down at the end. I am right next to the library, room 36. Um, on the first day, all the teachers will be out in the halls. Well, for, I mean, I'll be out in the hall every single day and I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, your Zoom meeting is gonna be on Wednesday with the rest of the class, that's 8.30 to nine. You'll do your independent work after. Um, you will have an indoor break from 8.25 to 8.30, and we will have recess at 10.20 to 10.35. Here's how recess is going to go. All four fourth grade classes will go out to the blacktop. There are four spots we have out there. We have the kickball area, the basketball courts and the wall ball, the playground, and then the grass. So we have four days of school. One day you'll be on the blacktop. We'll be able to play kickball and tetherball and that kind of stuff. One day we'll be on the basketball courts. We'll be able to play with bouncy balls, four square, basketball, that kind of thing, hula hoops. One day we'll be on the playground, we'll be able to play on the playground, and one day we'll be on the grass and we'll be able to use whatever sort of equipment we decide. I have an incredible amount of PE equipment, so we'll be able to use it. We're only gonna use PE equipment from my class so that we bring it out, we use it, and we bring it back in. I'll sterilize it at the end of each day and then we use it the next day. All right, uh, independent work should be done after school via Schoology, because you're gonna be here at 8.30, you're gonna go home at 
and then you're going to do your independent work after that. It'll be in Schoology. It's going to be the same routine as we've done before. You still have science with Mrs. Rad, though it's slightly different now. It's going to be Thursdays from 12.35 to 1 o'clock. And I'll put all this on our schedule. And there will be 18 of you. And none of you have to do any more material pickups because you're going to be in class. And we're going to be able to turn in assignments and pick them up here, which is great. Okay, all learners will be receiving the exact same instruction and assignments. Um, if I don't teach both groups the same thing, my head will explode because I can't have two separate sections of things going on. It's going to be the same thing, which means we're going to slow down a little bit next week because we've had three hours and 40 minutes, and now everybody's getting two hours and 45 minutes, which means I'm teaching five hours and 30 minutes. But it also means that the people who are coming in person, there's going to be a lot of relearning how to go to school and routines and procedures, especially with all the rules that we have now. So next week's going to slow down a little bit. So that's just that's just how it is. Um, state testing will be either the first or second week of May. I don't exactly know how that's going to be set up yet. We talked about having everybody come to school and having the people who are at distance come and do it in the multi-purpose room. We talked about just the people who are in person doing it here and people doing distance. That's that's another another puzzle to figure out, and I will give you more information probably right before or right after spring break. Uh, classroom independent work routine will stay the same as it's been, and it's going to be busy. This is going to be crazy busy. I have been here late for the last two weeks setting all this up, and I have it all pretty ready to go. I have all my desks set up in here, and they're nicely spaced out, six feet apart. The air conditioner and heater works with the door open and the windows open, so we can get a lot of airflow going, and it's going to be great. Um, let's keep going. And so if you're a distance learner, I would appreciate if you would just hang in there to the end. All right. In person. So enter through your assigned gate. I know Mr. Mounier sent out an email and that fourth and fifth grade is assigned to enter on Merdell. However, as a parent and as somebody who's lived in Livermore my whole life, I realize that that street is, that entrance is very narrow. That street does not have much parking on it, even though we will just be, you'll be just dropping your kids off, right? There are no parents allowed on campus. You're, you're not you're not welcome. I don't mean that in a rude way, but no parents should be coming through the gate. Um, so no parents should ever be showing up at my door. I will quickly say you need to go. So please don't come before school. Don't come after school. Please don't come onto campus because we're not having any adults come onto campus except for the teachers, the campus supervisors, and the janitors. Nobody else. It's a done deal. Um, so after you drop your child off at whatever gate you drop off at, I realize some of you live just across the street over here on Ontario, you're not going to go all the way to Merdell to come to class. And I understand that. Use your best judgment as possible. Please walk to room 36. You must stay six feet away from others. Now you can talk to somebody, right? If you and Bobby want to walk to class together and you meet up, that's fine. Please don't be loitering out and about. Once you get dropped off, you need to come right to class. But if you see your friend, you can walk six feet away from each other and come right to class. No problem. I will be outside the door every day. I will be right outside the room, tall guy wearing a mask, and I will have hand sanitizer. You're going to come up. I'm going to put a little hand sanitizer in hand. You're going to rub your hands. Um, if you don't know where room 36 is, please ask an adult. All the teachers will be out in the hall or the campus supervisors, Mr. Mounier, Abraham, the custodian. Just please ask any adult, and they'll help you find room 36. Okay, for day one, you're going to come into class. I'm going to hand sanitize, give you hand sanitizer. You're going to rub it in really good. We're going to gel in, gel out every day. We're going to be gelling. And then what you're going to do for the first day is you're going to come in and you're going to bring your backpack into class. And we're going to put our materials in our desk. And then you're going to sit on your desk and you're going to look up on the projector to see what to do. Because people will be trickling in slowly. I will not be marking anyone tardy for the first week or two, right? As, as we figure out this routine, especially since there are, I think, 500 children coming back to school. It's going to be quite a lot. So please do your best to be on time. But, you know, if you get here five minutes late, 10 minutes late, it's not a big deal. And again, the gates won't open until 825. So please, and I won't open my door until 825. So please make sure you don't, don't come too early either. Um, starting day two, we will use the, the backpack hooks outside to keep our backpacks. But I will go over that with the kids on day one, and we'll get the routine going. You must wear a mask at all times, okay? And your mask must attach behind your ears, like the disposable ones do, or mine goes behind my head. No gaiters are allowed. Those are those neck things that you pull up. They're too loose, and um, while I do think they're comfortable, more comfortable than these, they're not allowed. And so if you do bring a gaiter, you'll be given a disposable mask to wear. Um, along with no parents being on campus, no students will be sent to the office. So. If Johnny gets a tummy ache or something like that, um, as long as I don't feel it's a COVID issue, 
We'll deal with it internally. Um, we will have a nurse liaison who's out in the outside area who will be able to communicate with if there is some sort of big problem. But if you lose a tooth, if you, for some reason, get a, get a wound on your hand because you're doing your math and you're working too hard, I have a first aid kit in here. I was an EMT many years ago, but that's lapsed. But I know how to do basic first aid and it'll all be done in class. So um, my stomach doesn't feel good and that kind of thing will be done in here. Now, if it gets to the point where I think you need to go home, I will call the office. The office will call to communicate that with you. You will come into the office and then they will call me and I will send the kid down to the office. So again, the tummy aches and that kind of stuff, it's gonna be a little bit of tough love to start with. So that's just the way that it is. So please make sure you eat breakfast because snack isn't until 10, 20. So it's almost two hours before you're gonna be able to eat again. Okay, here's the big one, what to bring. And so there's some adjustments to what I had originally thought here based on this parent information I have. Number one is your binder. Please bring your binder with you every single day. You're gonna to need to bring it back and forth. It's gonna have all of your information in there. It's gonna have all of your assignments in there and I need you to bring it back and forth every single day. It is really important that you don't forget because if you don't bring your binder, you're not gonna have the daily language, the daily math and all those things, okay? So that's gonna come back and forth every single day. Make sure you have your packet in there. Right now it's Mr. Morrison's super fun packet, which is what it'll be the rest of the year. Then please make sure also in there you have your newspaper and also please make sure in there you have your composition book. All right, your math book, which looks like this and should look like mine because we've done a lot of the pages while we've done 70% um, of it. This is gonna come back and this is gonna stay on your desk. You will only be doing these pages in class from now on. And so I need this to come back and stay in your desk. So please bring that on Monday. Your social studies book looks like this. This also needs to come back and will stay in your desk. Uh, Patty Reads Doll. Unfortunately, I only have 11 more copies and the quickest I could order books to come back is like a week from now. And so you will need to bring Patty Reads Doll every single day. So along with your binder, you'll need to bring Patty Reads Doll because you'll definitely have at home reading Wednesday and then you'll probably have other activities that you're going to need the book for. All right, water bottle. Please bring a water bottle. There are no drinking fountains. That All the drinking fountains on campus have been turned off. There are two refilling stations, which are touchless, where you put the bottle in there and it fills up and then you walk away. Those are not in the classroom. There's one over by the multipurpose room. And there's one down by the hallway. But please bring a water bottle or else you're going to be thirsty. You're going to bring it into the room. The only time you're able to drink, you're going to take the mask down real quick, take a drink, put that mask back up. Real easy. Um, please label it with your name and room number. One thing I know from 20 years of teaching is those water bottles will wander off. And if you have the room number, which is 36, it might come back. Snack. Snack will be in a recess time. It'll be 1020 to 1035. We will be able to, we don't have PE. PE is still going to be a distance learning thing, but we will be able to play with equipment outside. So if you're somebody who wants to play, because it's only 15 minutes and that's the only time we'll have, it's a very rigid schedule for recess. You want to bring your snack, something quick that you can eat because we're going to walk out. I'm going to have a bag for garbage. You're going to eat your snack. You're going to put it in there and then you're going to play. Now, if you're somebody who likes to sit and socialize, so you're going to be six feet apart and you bring a little bit bigger snack and sit there and socialize. But just realize you're going to probably want something that you can eat quickly. Um, please don't bring anything that's too messy and please bring things that you can open. I'm not going to touch and open your snack for you. All right, here's the problem that the biggest issue right now is the Chromebook. So because of the situation that we don't, have all the Chromebooks back at school yet, and we are getting a large shipment of new Chromebooks. We're not totally one-to-one -one yet. And so what that means is, for now, if you have a school district issued Chromebook, you've got to bring it back and forth every day, which I know is a pain. I would also recommend putting your water bottle either in a different pocket or putting it in a plastic bag so it doesn't leak on your Chromebook. I am hoping that this will be a short-term issue because I I have a Chromebook cart, but I'm not sure by Monday they'll all still be there because we're all kind of inside teacher stuff, kind of figuring out who gets all the Chromebooks and who doesn't. So for the beginning part, please bring, if you have a district issued Chromebook, please bring it every day. If you don't have a district issued Chromebook, I will have a Chromebook here for you. So if you're at home and you're using a laptop or you've never borrowed a Chromebook from school, don't worry, I have them here for you. But for the first day, and hopefully just for the first couple days, maybe hopefully just for the first day, fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. You will need to bring your district issue Chromebook with you to school. And you're going to have to be careful with that thing. I know this isn't ideal. This is something that I've been on the, the we can't do this train for a while. But unfortunately, that's the situation we're in. Um, and again, make sure it's fully charged when you come. Because I don't necessarily have the charger for you in here. Now look, 
If one day you forget, I have I do have an extra one or two. If yours comes in and yours dies, your charger, I do have an extra one or two. And hopefully this isn't a long-term issue, but at the beginning, you will need to bring your Chromebook with you every day. Don't bring anything else. If I didn't put it on this list here, don't bring it. I have all new supplies for everybody, though I'm not gonna give you everything on the first day. We're gonna like day one, you might just have your, your pencil and then we'll, we'll day two, we'll get markers and day three, we'll get crayons. And then you know day four, you get a roller. Every day we'll kind of add something new, but I have all new supplies for everybody in here. Please don't bring any other books from home. Please don't bring any other toys. Please don't bring anything else. We will not be doing sharing. Please don't bring things from home. I just want to keep it very, very simple. So to wrap it up here, I'm very excited for this too. A year of, of talking to a computer screen has made me a little bit more appreciative of uh, human beings. And I can't wait to see the 18 of you who are going to be here. Um, and I can't wait to do the 11 people in distance. It's gonna be fine, we're gonna make it work. I will not be doing any small groups or my one-on-one -on -one groups or any of that for at least the first two weeks as I figure out my schedule. Um, Wednesdays, it's 8.30 to nine, and then the rest of the day is designated as our prep time. At the elementary level, all of our prep is now, which we used to get spread out, even when we were in the regular teaching situation, is now all on Wednesdays. I'll be teaching from 8.30 to lunch. I'll get 40 minutes for lunch, which will go do my run, and I'll be teaching again till three, and then I'll be wrapping things up. And then at that point, I think my brain will probably hurt pretty bad, and I will be going home. So I will not be doing small groups for at least two weeks, and it might be for the rest of the year. It just depends on how this goes for the next two weeks and what my time looks like. Same with email. Um, I'm not gonna be as available on email during the day, and there might honestly be some evenings where I'm just at 3.30, I'm just done, and I need to go home and take care of my kids and my family. I will do my best. Um, I will do my best to monitor it, um, but it, it, there might be a, a little more of a lag instead of me getting back to you in two seconds. It might take a day or possibly two, depending on the issue. But please always contact me. I'm happy to get back to you. It's just if I don't get back to you immediately. Just I, I will. I promise. I will at some point. Um, we got this. We don't have a choice, right? <laughs> We're going to do this. We're going to make it work. And I'm excited to see everybody. It's going to be very different, right? I mean, it's it's going to be different. Where we will not be having PE. We'll not be having field trips. We won't be having parties. We won't be having volunteers. We won't be doing um, any stuff where we're sharing of materials. So art's going to be pretty mineral, mi <laughs> pretty minimal. Um, but we're going to have fun. We're going to make it work. We're definitely going to learn. And we're going to keep doing our math, our reading, our language arts, our writing. And most importantly, we're going to get back to school, which it's time for. All right, guys, I am attaching to this email, this video, this PowerPoint, and then another video which was created by the teachers with all the little school rules. This is what I'd like. Please watch these with your kids and just help me so we can have the best possible second, first day of school or whatever we want to call this. All right, everybody, your kids are awesome. I appreciate you so much. As always, please email me if you need anything. I anticipate I'll be working pretty much the entire weekend getting ready. And we're going to work hard for two weeks, and then we're going to get a week off for spring break, and then we're going to work hard for nine weeks. And then everybody's going to pass head on to fifth grade. Well, except for me. I'll just stay here. All right. Have a great evening. Thank you for your time.